Hello, my name is Robert Hiss. I am the County Administrator for Bedford County. I'm talking to you from our Fire and Rescue headquarters. On March 18th, Bedford County declared a local state of emergency. I know that phrase can sound scary, especially during this such an uncertain time as this with the coronavirus. I wanted to briefly speak with you to explain what exactly a state of emergency means for us locally and how it can actually bring aid to our community. Emergency declarations allow officials at the federal, state, and local levels to mobilize quickly and activate a menu of powers that can, they can use to respond to a crisis situation. It allows for expedited response efforts in ways that do not circumvent constitutional protections. For example, if public health officials say, we have to quarantine 100 people right now, we can then quickly organize resources to do that. Declaring a state of emergency provides a consistent message among a community and region that local government is taking the situation seriously in a manner that the public expects. It brings all facets of local government under one defined unified command, such as public safety, solid waste, public information, social services, and volunteer agencies. It allows for local government to be in a position to recover funds expended if the federal government determines such, such an option is appropriate. It also gives Bedford County a greater opportunity for collaboration with state agencies concerning specific resource needs for our community. It may even allow local businesses to obtain relief in forms not yet determined. Simply put, it allows Bedford County to have a seat at any table the state and federal government sets in terms of post-incident recovery, as well as economic and community stabilization opportunities. Finally, it is important to note that a local emergency declaration is not a response to any partisan politics. It is not a time for panic or hoarding. It is about how best to assist our fellow citizens and position our community to recover in a timely and prosperous manner. Since declaring Bedford County in a state of emergency, here are some of the actions we have taken to help care for and protect the community. We are determining the local need for those unable to physically leave their home due to a disability to, due to disability to receive fun, food and supplies. Based on those needs, we are working to establish a collaborative system with local agencies, nonprofits, and faith community volunteers. We are coordinating these agencies to determine if additional resources are available to assist the Bedford 911 Center with call screening of individuals to reduce communication officers' time on call. This will provide an individualized screening to gain the most information and point those callers in the right direction for assistance. Our schools have mobilized a lunch program for all children under 18 in Bedford County, and also for those in, in, not enrolled in our school system. In other words, in less than two weeks, the school system transitioned from an educational provider to a food service provider. We are also coordinating with schools and other resource needs for the first responders and essential staff members. We are sharing information for the public so they are aware of any changes that may affect them during this time we're also sharing safety messages so they are aware of the precautions they need to take to protect themselves and our community. And we have established a decontamination program specifically for our public safety first responders. It is of the utmost importance that we come together in this time of emergency as a unified and supportive community. Much like during the devastating Bedford Middle School fire, this too will be another opportunity for us to prove that we are better together. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day with me. Please stay safe and healthy.